Hi, this is Trey Passer. Um, uh, welcome to my review of Mr. Mom. This is a classic, as far as I'm concerned, a comedy classic written by John Hughes. Uh, this stars Michael Keaton, Terry Garr. We have Martin Maul in this, uh, Jeffrey Tambor, Christopher Lloyd is in this as well. And basically, this is the story of uh, Jack and Cal uh, Butler. Uh, Jack, played by uh, Michael Keaton, uh, he's a, there's an engineer who works for a car company, and he gets laid off. And of course, you know, the, you know, he decides, you know, well, they decide, I guess, is you know, the wife decides to go back. Terry Gar's character to go back to work. She, you know, she went to cusp and she has a degree in marketing, and she gets another job, and that forces uh, Jack to be a Mr. Mom, you know, into a, you know, basically a stay-at-home dad, a role that he's not accustomed to to doing at all. And this <laughs> this movie is. Uh, a great comedic look at it, and it's absolutely fantastic. John Hughes does a great job uh, with this, and of course the actors are fantastic in this. Uh, Michael Keaton <laughs> as the uh, you know dad adjusting to being at home, being a stay-at-home mom, and all that entails with all the stuff that he has to learn how to do. Basically, you know how to pick up the kids, how to do shopping, how to do laundry, you know interacting with the neighbors and stuff. It's absolutely hilarious, and Michael Keaton, is, <laughs> his comic timing is absolutely perfect in this. And Terry Gar, I think she matches him well, too, as this wife that, you know, this stay-at-home mom, you know, she loves her family and stuff, but she realizes she has to, you know, get back into the workforce to help her family, and she j jumps in, you know, even though she's a little apprehensive of it, and she does a great job, Terry Gar. Again, she's good. She's a good comedian as well in this, and then you also have a, a lot of good supporting characters, starting, of course, with the kid actors who play his, his kids, uh, there's an, an actor that plays his older kid, Alex, uh, and then there's the younger kid. Actually, he has three kids. Uh, he has the older kid, Alex. He has the, young, the second middle kid, Kenny, who, who's a, a kid that carries around a wubby, you know, this blanket that's his, you know, like sort of like Linus in the Peanuts, and then he has the, you know, the baby Megan. Uh, and it's absolutely, you know, those the two older kids are absolutely, you know, great. They're, they, you know, they assist uh, Michael Keaton in the comedy and stuff, and they're absolutely great in this. Then you also have Martin Maul in this. He plays Ron, the boss of, you know, the newly, uh, the boss of uh, the newly hired uh, Terry Gard's character, Alex, excuse me, Carolyn. And he, you know, he's, he's, he plays a slimy best. <laughs> and then you have Jeffrey Tomber in, the, in this movie. You know, he plays Jinx, uh, one of the bosses who works at the old company that Michael Keaton works for. And this, and again, you have Ann Jillian. I forgot it. Let me forget about Ann Jillian. She plays Joan, one of these, uh, one of these neighbors uh, that sort of has an eye on uh, on Jack now that he's a stay-at-home dad. Okay, and again, this movie written and directed by John. It's just written by John. I'm sorry, it was directed by somebody else, uh, by Stan Dracotta. Yeah, I'm sorry, it was just just written by John Hughes, and it was. I think I remember reading it said it was based on his 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 part as a, a stay-at-home dad. So you know, of course, everything is exaggerated in this and. You have such great comedic scenes in this movie, and there's a great. I remember seeing this. There's a particular scene in this that they that kind of pays kind of tribute that includes a scene, uh, actually footage from uh, The Young and the Restless, a soap opera that's been on for I don't know how many years it's been on, but they actually have that soap opera into interact with the actual movie itself, and it's absolutely hilarious the way it plays out, and you have to see it to believe it. And then again, all the things that you know that. Jack has to get used to, you know, like I said, washing the clothes, picking up the kids, uh, you, know, you know, trying to fix the house, trying to make dinner. It's it's all uh, hilariously played and, and and actually true to life in a lot of ways. And it's a really good movie. Again, Michael Keaton and uh, Terry Gar make a good looking couple and a good they have good chemistry, couple chemistry. And again, the supporting actors are really good in this as well. And this movie is definitely a comedy classic as far as I'm concerned. I'm glad they did. They never, I'm surprised they have, I think Mr. Mom, I think, actually, you know what, I think they might have had a TV, I have to look it up, but I think there might have been a TV series about this, Mr. Mom, a TV series, I know they didn't make a, a movie, but I think they made a T. I I think they might have made a TV series, I, for some reason I have that in my mind, I know they did a TV series for Uncle Buck, but for some reason I'm thinking they did try to do a TV, I don't think it lasted too long, but I think they tried to do a TV series or Mr. Mom, I have to look it up, but I think they, I think they have. Anyway, if you remember that, you know, please let me know down below. I think they have. I think they tried it, but I don't think it lasted too long. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Mr. Mom. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below, and if you like this review, please subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well.
And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.